The tabloids' disrespect of the House of Windsor turned them into global laughing stock. There is no dignity in having the British tabloids speak for the monarchy. None whatsoever. Everyone knows the British tabloids have no credibility. The tabloids have turned the House of Windsor into a global laughing stock. Everyone knows the emperor has no clothes, thanks to decades of public stripping of the emperor by the tabloids. By now he is naked. What a shame for such a proud people as the British. The palace and press are not in a marriage of equals. It is a sordid affair where the Fleet Street editors have the balls of the men of Windsor pinned to their wall. A real national embarrassment. We would like to hear from you. This is not a royal channel. We do not want sycophants, only independent thinkers. Join our channel membership or give us a super thanks or super sticker to support the work of beloved Duchess Meghan, the Duchess of Impact, and her husband, Prince Harry. Now back to the robust dialogue about how the tabloid's disrespect of the House of Windsor has turned them into global laughing stock. Thanks to that stiff upper lip everything is in whispers, how the tabloids mock the men of Windsor, and yet the men take it. How they hate their hate, but yearn for their love. The men of Windsor have given the press an inch, and the tabloids have taken a mile. Mental note, never negotiate with terrorists. The palace loves the tabloid love. Being on the front pages of the newspaper is the prize, but it comes at a cost of sacrificing our own children at the altar of PR. The father knew that tabloids were the scum of the earth, but he allowed them to become the keeper of his secrets and in turn turned himself into bait for these tabloid bullies. This was a man who lacked the affirmation of a father and love of a mother who was a career woman who put country before family. He was picked upon and bullied. Something in the heart of this man, who sits at the apex of power of the most powerful institutions in the world, was a boy who longed for acceptance and affirmation. Sensing this weakness, Rupert Murdoch and Lord Ruthamel would plot to manipulate him to gain power. Popularity is the currency of the House of Windsor. The wife Diana was so popular, even more than the blood royals. She was center stage, stealing the limelight when she was supposed to be the supporting act. This bruised the ego of the hare. Seeing how incensed the coverage of Princess Diana made the palace, the tabloid sought to emasculate the Prince of Wales by elevating his wife on the front pages of the newspapers. She was beautiful and charming and sold newspapers. Her face on the paper was highly profitable. But this was not the prize. The opportunity of these peasants, these commoners to infiltrate the palace had come. The real prize lay with access to the crown. They saw their power lay in becoming the kingmakers. Access to the crown gave the tabloids unprecedented power in the lives of the blue blood. With the access, they could usurp power, each thinking of himself as the true monarch, rendering the real king just a figurehead and making themselves the power behind the throne, the real kingmakers. After all, everyone knows more powerful than the king is the kingmaker. Prince Harry is a fierce protector of his wife and kids, not a puppet. The definition of masculinity is to be a defender and protector. Prince Harry is a fierce protector of his wife Meghan and his children. Young, broken, desperate men macho wannabes on the internet call Harry a puppet. Far away from reality and from traditional family values. Harry is a typical competitive bloke who loves shooting guns, runs barefoot in the oak of Ango, survives crocs and lions, then defends his homeland by fighting the Taliban. During his two operational tours of duty in Afghanistan, a man of action than philosophy. Harry is a war hero, unlike these internet better males. Is there anything more pathetic than men who opt to appease tabloids than stand their ground and fight for their wives and children? We would like to hear from you. We enjoy robust conversation. This is not a royal channel we do not want sycophants, only independent thinkers. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with not just your friends, but royal fans as well. 
it will be good for their mental health. Give us a super thanks, super sticker and super chat and join channel membership. Also subscribe to the Duchess of Impact channel. Hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Thanks for watching.